Hi guys, we're back more. Let's play Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I know I wasn't exactly where I was before, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. So stop walking into the wall. But um, here's a chest. The first chest that we can get without going like really far out of your way, probably. Um, but uh, you know, we're gonna go in here because this is where we need to go deeper into the woods. To the whispering waterfalls, because waterfalls can whisper. But yeah, um, here we are. The whispering waterfalls. There's a jabber right there, it's not nice. I'd best warn y'all, boy, there's a bunch of monsters in here, I'll be fine, I have a familiar. That's brave of you, I don't forget though, if going gets tough cast dealing touch, I sure will not remember, or forget. Also, you can press the button to view spells, don't worry, you just poke around. When you learn that, you'll learn some stuff, so make sure to remember. Alright, let's go. Um... Spoiler alert, I tried this a minute ago and I died. To one of these enemies. And, uh, so yeah, I just decided to start over. Let's do it! Because, um, yeah, if I'm dying this early in the game, I'm gonna use Cut Loose. This uses magic. But, uh, it costs a lot of magic, actually. So, uh, do be careful. Okay, the thing about this game is you don't just eat like food just like the second you pop it out it actually takes a minute to eat it and so that kind of sucks about this game or that that kind of isn't the best because uh yeah that can screw you over very very a lot <laughs> that's how I got screwed over I had low health and I tried to eat a white bread and um by the time he had eaten it, um, I was dead. But also, we just got a chocolate. What you can do is you can feed this to your familiar. Um, chocolate raises attack, and since the might or spirit um, it specializes in attack, it'll give him more of a gain than it would if we fed it to a different familiar whose specialty wasn't attack. Each familiar has their own specialty, basically. And I might die again. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm okay. What? I can't attack. Oh, gosh. I think this means you're cursed. Oh, maybe I'm blind. Yeah, that's it. I'm blind. Oh, gosh. I think I was just blind there. I was blinded by the light. Or not really, but that was a song. It's a good song. I'm thinking that I should cut these battles out, but I don't know. We just got a sandwich? Wow. Really? Um, that's a, one of the better healing items this early in the game that you can obtain. There, There's multiple ways to go here. I'm gonna go both ways, though. So I got familiar is what's that. It's important. I showed you how your familiars can use tricks, right? Well, these little fellows get stronger, they're still learning new ones. You want to see what tricks your familiars have? Just go into the thingy. Go into the, uh, friends and familiars. They can learn up to eight tricks before you have to start deleting new ones. So it's double what Pokemon is. Oh, uh, I really should have tried sneaking up on him. Okay, it's only one job. Watch this! I'm thinking that I should cut these out, but I don't know. These are short battles. They're, they're decently short. Not like other battles that are long. And I don't want to press stop recording every five seconds. Because I'd run into a battle. It's an RPG. There'll be a lot of battles. Open the chest. What's in here? Loaf of white bread. Nice. I think I'm actually going the right way here. But one of these ways ends up on the bottom of a tree. And one of them ends up on the top. I don't remember which one is where. 
And I really hope what just happened wasn't what I thought it was. Come on. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this is a teeny bopper, I guess. Not a teeny booger. Boogers aren't nice. They're, they're kind of not nice. They're, they're, they're gross. Kind of also, it's kind of more in the day now, so, uh... You, you might see more of a glare, I don't know. I probably should be cutting these out. I don't know. I'm lazy, I guess. We can do this. Here but by default, um, what Oliver will do is uh, pull out his first familiar by instinct, I guess, instead of trying to attack with himself. And I got a crunchy carrot. Wow, that's a that's that's an ingredient. Yeah, that's an ingredient. Wow. I'm gonna eat one of the. I'm gonna eat one of these loaves of white bread because I have so many. It doesn't cost them to eat either. I think we're going the right way here. Whoops. But yeah, as you can see there, there is a little bit of stuff that I didn't. That we didn't see. And then up here, there's a chest as well, I guess. Oh, a bottle of iced coffee that restores MP. So it's nice to have if you use MP a lot. Oh, this is just kind of like a little cliff. So I guess it would be easy to miss. I'm sorry if you don't like me exploring, but really, if you didn't want exploring, you shouldn't have... Let's you go. should look at it for a different game. I mean, I can see why you wouldn't want me to explore, because it would take so long, but, uh, I don't think there is a game where you don't explore, where exploring doesn't get you something nice. Like, uh, like, every game I've played, if you explore a little bit, you'll find something good for exploring. Like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, those games are probably the- ooh, a Sunday, that's nice. I think that raises defense, I'm not exactly sure, that's not a, that's not a drop point. Okay, what am I seeing? There's no way to zoom in the map, and that sucks, a little bit. Yeah, I got him, there we go. Let's fight the chatter. We can do this! Uh, I need to beat the boss. And then go through a cutscene in like 10 minutes. Oh, I think that was a counter. Yeah, when you do a counter, usually you do a good chunk of damage. Because counters are cool. Uh, I should have looked at the map of this place before I went in here. I don't know. But yeah, we leveled up. We're level 4. I actually do want to explore this place so I can get experience. Because you want to be like around level 5 by the time you fight this boss. Okay, there we go. Sorry you didn't see that. I couldn't see it either. But yeah, but now we're up here. I think the only thing up here is, uh... Actually, I'm not sure. Oh, a chest. Oh. Really? It looks like there's a path over there. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Crap, there's like a chest over there. Can I go the right way, please? Can I go the right way? Thank you. Oh, I can't go that way, because that's, like, down below. Yeah, there's a chest over there. We might not be able to open it, actually. It might be a special chest. Yeah, you'll eventually see, mag see chests that you need magic to open. Um, that spell that we get to open the chest, I think we... It doesn't take long to obtain, because... You get it before you go into the first dungeon. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, we don't have that. I can't even... Oh my gosh. Let's come back later for whatever that is. I don't even remember what's in there. 
if there's even anything good in there, there's probably something decent for the be for the beginning game. Like if you remember to come back. Also, if you are wondering, there are indeed side quests in this game. There are a lot of those. But we can't exactly partake in any of those side quests. Until, uh, basically until we get to the first town. Because at that point, that is when you can, uh, start doing some good stuff. I don't fight this guy, why not? Uh, why is it flickering? You know, I have a feeling this camera is seeing something, like, inside the glass of the TV that I'm just not seeing. So that's probably, like, it. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Yeah, like, it's flickering right now. It's not doing that on my side. I, I don't see that. I guess my eyes are either that crappy, or I don't know. But yes, as you can see on the map, there's a, a waste zone up here. That's what these are called. Um, you can save your game, and, uh, you can heal all your stuff. That's very nice. So I'll save here. I mean, it's probably not a good idea to save, because the thing is, you should have a, a backup file for your LP if something goes wrong. Like, if you accidentally delete your data or, or something of that sort, I don't know. Here's the battleground. It's very big. On the map. Hold up, Polly Boy. Oh, what is it? Listen, man, someone's coming. I don't. It's him, it's the flipping guardian. Are oh, you gonna make all the little dinosaur guys go away? I'm one of the birds that we haven't seen yet. Well, that wasn't nice. Guardian of the Woods, and then I didn't get to read the subtitle. Yes, but we're fighting our first boss here, it's very cool. Um, Guardian of the Woods. And that only did very little attack, or very little, but I don't know, it's still useful. Um, it is a good idea to use Fireball against this boss. Um, when you see it's doing this, you want to guard, because, uh, it does do a good chunk of damage. Ow. That wasn't nice. Pokemon, it does a lot of damage. Ow. Dude, I was... I was doing a thing, man. Why did you do that? That wasn't nice. Or, well, technically that was nice, but, you know. Um, sometimes this will happen where it says, now you're, now's your chance. Look, all the biggest one is tired. Um, when this happens, the enemy usually stops moving. And this is basically your chance to get off any decent damage. Uh, or, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, that's very good. There's a delay for when you heal yourself or for when you eat. And that kind of sucks. Sorry, I'm just kind of spamming magic here. But, uh, yeah, that's just... Kind of. Oh, a gold glim. This will restore all your HP and it'll give you a super move. Every enemy and every familiar, or every familiar and every uh, every char every character has their own spe special super move. Yeah, they basically give you this at the end because they say, "Hey, um." It, you almost beat him. Here you go, kill him right now. But there we go, we did it. I don't know why Oliver is tired. He should be being all like, We did it! It's so insane! 
But yeah, bosses give good experience most of the time. Like there we got a hundred and we also got Spirit of the Woods. I'm not exactly sure what that is, to tell you the truth, I don't remember. Yeah, that's a new ability right there, Sands Blast. We got a page describing the boss in the Wizard's Companion. And then, you know, he just lumbers off away, I guess. He reminds me of Torterra, kind of. Crikey, that was a close run thing, man. Guardian, he headed toward the deepest part of the wood. Do you think he'll back to normal? Your guess is good as mine, but the weird look in his eyes is gone at last. At least, I reckon he'd probably need some time to get his head together and then back in the right old guardian. What made him all screwy like that? You don't think it was... Of course it flippin' was, had your tower written all over it. We'd best wash our backs and... Anyway, we did what we came for. We best go to the old feed trace. I, I can't talk today. But now we have a story in the Wizard's Companion. Um... Okay, I can't read that, actually, so you'll have to do it. Sorry. Hmm. You did well to come, the Guardian of the Woods. And I found what I was looking for. But first, a gift. My way of thanks. Gee. You were on a roll, my yeah, man. I entrust to you one of my closest companions, the Turning Stone. His knowledge of our world arises even my own. I thought he might help you on your journey. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, he will tell you anything you wish to know. And the other thing... Oh, this is important. The locket. This is what you came here for, is it not? It is a vessel for fragments of the human heart. To rescue the heartbroken, you will need the locket and the spells required to use it. I will give you those as well. Thank you so much, old Father Oak. Mm -hmm. Such a well-mannered child. I might sound my own mention. What? Well, uh, all right, all right. Ta, back face! Mm -hmm. Some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. Now, boy, you must come and see me from time to time. And tell me of your travels. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let's be off, shall we? Time to head back to Ding Dong Dell and mend a broken heart. Okay. Okay, so the telling stone. Um, you do have to use it, but I swear I've I've like never used it because I needed it. Or I mean, I used it because I was required to use it. But you can actually come see Old Father Oak later on, and he will give you things, because he's very nice. It's like seeing, like, going to see, like, maybe your mom or your dad or one of your grandparents after a while, like, or something like that, I guess, I don't know. Um... But guys, um, next time on more, let's play Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. We will go back to Ding Dong Dell, maybe. And I'm gonna hide behind this plant because it's the best thing to do. So guys, see ya then. Goodbye.